Welcome back, everybody. Today we got a very, very special shoe to talk about. This is the Nike Dunk or the Nike Philly Dunk, a shoe made for Philly by Philly. And the biggest question is, um, with a shoe this important, at least to Philadelphians, uh, with a shoe this important, did they get the details right? So let's just find out. So first things first, a little bit of story time. Lapsed and Hammer has been around since 2015. Um, owner and founder, Brian Nadav, um, has done a lot of different projects and things like that, especially focusing on the Philadelphia area, focusing on Philadelphia youth, which has always been something that I have always been drawn to. I've always been happy that they focus on giving back to the community rather than, you know, just kind of taking from the community. So a lot of the initiatives that they do are all centered on giving back to Philly and obviously focusing on Philly as a culture, Philly as a city, obviously, and city where um, a lot of great things happen. And the other side of it is Cream, which is a brand um, founded by Pusha T. Um, they have a store over in Norfolk, Virginia, Virginia, and then they have obviously a Philadelphia location. Um, so they collaborated along with Nike to create this uh, silhouette, this beautiful Nike Dunk or Nike Philly Dunk. Um, and it just has a, a mixture of a lot of the things that make Philly, Philly. So let's just jump right into that. As per usual, we're gonna start off with the packaging. Now, I thought that given the gravity of this release, something that is, a, in my opinion, a very important release, especially because it is a huge nod to Philadelphia and the collaborators involved, Nike, Lapstone, and uh, Cream. I thought that the packaging experience was gonna match that, and instead what we got was just a normal, regular Nike box. What it did get, though, is the Nike Dunk Premium designation on the box itself, so it just tells you that it is, this is a premium shoe, um, and you get a little bit of extras in there. Not many, but you do get some extras. Now I'm gonna spend a little bit of time focusing on the design because this is a Nike Dunk and if you've seen one Dunk, you've seen them all at this point. But what makes this specific release different is just the amount of detail and the amount of thought that went into the design process and the materials of this shoe. So focusing first and foremost on the materials themselves, you have really, really nice tumbled leather on the toe box, on the medial side and uh, the lateral side. You have a swoosh that is a wear away swoosh. So the more you wear the shoe, um, it will reveal its multicolor swoosh under that. So that's something I'm excited to see eventually. Um, on the medial side, the swoosh is revealed. Obviously there's no overlay or anything like that that crumbles away. So you do have some color in there. Now I wanna spe specifically focus on the colors cause there's a lot of color in here. Um, if you look at the sock liner and around the collar of the shoe and things like that and even on the heel tab, that Philly logo or that Philly uh, name mark or you know word mark is in multicolor, and that is a nod to Philadelphia's art scene. We have the art museum, we have murals all around the city. I myself am a product of one of our murals um, in the inner city. I grew up in the North Philadelphia section of Philadelphia. And it was something that in the summer, you can get into a lot of trouble as a kid. Um, there's a lot of not so great things happening around you. So for me, having an opportunity to participate in the mural arts and have um, something that I participated in, something I helped on a wall in one of our neighborhoods was really cool to see and see it every day. So again, this is tying in the art museum, it's tying in the mural arts and that is again, Going back to what Lapstone's initiatives are about, giving back to the community, it's really focusing on that. Moving on to, I wanna talk about the laces. Um, the laces themselves have coordinates and the coordinates are of Philadelphia City Hall. So it is a really cool little feature, a little cool little detail. Again, you know, it's, it's all in the details of the shoe and that's what something I really, really love about this release. Um, again, you have the tumbled leather, um, you have the toe box that has like a, um, a cement colored splatter paint all along the toe box and the vamp and things like that. And that is supposed to signify the, the fact that Philadelphia 
for the most part is always under construction in some way, shape or form. And I think that's probably true for any metropolis, any bigger city, um, it's always gonna be under construction. Moving along to the back of the shoe, you have like a nice hairy suede that is kind of moving on to the heel part or heel counter of the shoe itself. Um, and then again, you have what looks to be that wear away material and then the Philadelphia or Philly word mark on the heel tab. On the sock liner, you have a lot of nods to Philadelphia specific things. Um, our major highways like I-95 and 76, and those are two roads or two highways that you use to get through throughout the city really, um, whether you're going north, south, east, or west. Um, you also have nods to our rivers. We have the Schuylkill and the Delaware River. Those are two major rivers that kind of enclose us and separate us from New Jersey. Um, you have a nod to um, our sports, our love of sports. Obviously, we're notorious for being difficult fans. I think some people may say we're ungrateful. Some people, you know, may say other things. Um, as Jason Kelsey said it famously, no one likes us and we don't care. But overall, um, you have those two things in there. And then you have another um, call out to one of our major roads. I believe it is the longest street. I want to say in the country, Broad Street. Um, I don't even know how long it goes for. Um, I will try and put that as a kind of a pop up on this video. But again, you have lots and lots of colors, lots and lots of call outs and a lot of, you know, things that are specific to Philly. This is, and uh, for all intents and purposes, um, a homage to Philadelphia. Um, and as they said, uh, shoe for Philly by Philly. Now, one last thing before we move on is uh, the laces. So I mentioned earlier, it is getting that premium designation on the shoe box. With that premium designation, obviously you get higher end materials, nicer, nicer leathers and suede and things like that, but you also get an extra set of laces. Um, I personally am going to keep the green laces on because it has those yellow tips. Um, I do like the way that everything contrasts each other, but also, ties in really, really well with each other. Now, obviously there is no kind of performance with this. There's no performance review or anything like that. This is more so a hands-on. This is more so just kind of like telling the story. Um, I wanna give a huge congrats, a huge shout out to Brian and his team at Lapstone. I didn't attend the cream um, release of the Philly Dunk. I really was just at Lapstone. I do know Brian. I, um, I've known him for a few years and he's always been great to me and my family. Um, for me, standing in that line, I've been through multiple sneaker releases, sneaker launches, and they have not generally gone great for me. This one was just incredibly fun. I met a new friend. We were talking about sneakers and culture or you know our families and things like that and so I made a friend um, I got the sneaker that I wanted that I really thought I wasn't going to get as of right now I don't think there's going to be an online release I could be wrong but if there is no online release this was something specific to that Philly launch and it was a one day only thing they did release some smaller sizes onto their online store but overall, the experience of being there, the experience of being around other like-minded people who were just there to have fun, to enjoy um, this really, really cool occasion and something that was to commemorate something that we all love, which is Philadelphia. Um, again, Brian and his team did a fantastic job. I love this experience. I had a lot of fun and def this is definitely gonna leave a lasting impression in terms of sneaker launches and how to do them the right way. That will just about do it for this video and if there's anything that you would like to know about the Philly Dunk or anything that I missed, leave a comment. If you liked this video, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. But if you really, really liked it, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and you have a good day.